Hello, hello from Ljubljana Airport. I'm just on my way to Bulgaria, Sofia, where I'm going to attend um, the annual EPTA conference. EPTA stands for European Brief Therapy Association. And um, it's going to be a packed conference, and there are going to be so many things there, um, so many workshops, so many inspiring conversations. And um, I'm going to have a workshop on Saturday about the um, opening of the conversation in solution-focused practice. So, um, which reminds me of a time of my life, uh, way back in the past, when I was referred to see a psychiatrist, and um, I didn't go there voluntarily. And this psychiatrist opened a conversation with, tell me about your problem. Um, what brings you here? And I must tell you that this was a question that I was petrified about. I, was, I felt stripped, I felt uh, hurt, I felt really, really vulnerable because um, obviously I didn't want to be there and the last thing I wanted from her was to dig into where I felt the most vulnerable about. So um, I went resistant, I was a very rebellious teenager and um, long story short, it wasn't a very fruitful or useful conversation. Um, back then, of course, I didn't know about uh, solution-focused brief therapy and I didn't know that there are other ways of how you can open a conversation. But I tell you, if at that point this psychiatrist, uh, competent and professional as she was, probably, but I didn't see her like that back then, if she asked me a question of what I was hoping for from the conversation, uh, at first, I would have been really shocked for having asked that question because obviously I would, I would have been expecting her to ask me about my problem. But second of all, I would have felt so liberated. I would have felt so respected because she actually might care about what is it that I want. And this is a question that we usually use in solution-focused brief therapy or coaching um, to start the conversation. And this question is, what are your best hopes from our work together? And this word hope isn't there just by accident. It invites a client to think about not what they're expecting to talk about in the session, but what they're hoping from the session. So it's not about the session, what we're going to talk about in, but it's about how this is going to be useful for you outside in your own life when you're going to be done with this because what matters is what, how you live your life after the therapy. So um, in solution-focused circles, we like to discuss this question as a crucial question, and it, it leads to many confusions to practitioners because we tend to mix the outcome with the process. So if I ask the client, um, what are your best hopes from the conversation, and the client says, I want to talk about my drinking problem, um, the client isn't really answering the question. They are answering a question of what are your best hopes for the session. So we ask again, yes, so if um, we talked about your drinking problem that is, that is useful for you, uh, where would you hope this would lead to in your life? And the answer might be, um, I'd be able to get on, uh, I'd be able to move on, I'd be able to start my life again, feel more confident, whatever the answer might, might be. So it's a tricky thing for practitioners to distinguish that. Um, and recently, in the past couple of months, I've had quite a turbulent life. And um, a couple of months ago, by some co coincidence, I guess, I've seen two girls in sessions, uh, two very different girls, but they both um, tried to do self-harm and in those sessions something happened that changed my thinking about the best hopes question. Um, and how it's changed your thinking is that if we are inviting our clients to describe what they're hoping for, we start with the outcome. But that's pretty much it. We might not 
end with the outcome. So um, I'm going to share this thinking with you at the workshop on Saturday at the EBTA conference and I'm going to show you excerpts from these two sessions um, which have been a food for thought for me um, quite a lot and I'm going to invite you to do some exercises with me so that you can develop your skills um, if that's something that you would like to try as well. So I'll see you on Saturday, those of you who are going to be there, looking so much forward to be seeing you there. About the rest, um, if you're in Slovenia in a bit more than a week from now, next Friday, there is going to be um, the next professional solution focused training here in Slovenia for Slovenian professionals. So if you'd like to get better at skills or if you'd like to uh, learn how to do solution focused brief therapy or solution focused coaching um, or counseling or practice, whatever is your line of work, do join. I'll post the link below. Um, and so far, take care. Live broadcasting from Ljubljana Airport. Unfortunately, no planes around, but just some resting. So wish you a nice day. Uh, speak later. Leave me comments below um, or questions and I'll get back to you when I can. Bye.